I'm late and I'm live. What you gonna do about it? Ah. What you gonna Sega jump scare? Sega's a weird little Who's speed tree. Who's speed tree? Who is that? Do I know them? Do they work for me? Are, are they my employee or am I the or, or who's who's what? Yeah, yeah, okay. Controller. There we go, buddy. Okay, I haven't really touched anything since I played last. I wanted to save more for stream. Which is tough because this game is massive as hell and I need to accept I'm going to do a lot off stream. Oh, I did do a date. I went on a date with a cute girl. She was real. <clears throat> So I want to get my passport back. I left it with a girl who stole my passport. He sold it on the black market, I believe. But... You know, hold up a sec. My bad. All right, I'm a professional. Yeah, my energy is going to be a little bit low today. I'm going to be upfront about that. Or maybe it'll, like, get more so... Or not more so low energy, more Trolleys, huh? trolley. I guess they're the thing to do as a visitor. It might be nice to go around the island on one of these. Trolley. What it was it? Oh, right, I remember. Yeah, I played that minigame in the uh, demo. It was a weird little minigame. What was my point? I don't give a shit. Ha! No. So I've decided I'm just gonna go straight through the story until we get to, like, the ability to change jobs or get a new party member. Then I'll know I can, like, free roam and explore, yeah, get stuff. I'll give you 50 bucks for it. 50 bucks. Come on! This is a genuine driver's license. It's gotta be worth at least 70. Brother, 50 bucks. Take it or leave Brada. it. Brother. I doubt someone else would give you the time of day. Fine. I wanted some tacos now. Wish there were more food trucks near me. I love food trucks. Jeff, Just like conceptually. <laughs> well, if it isn't Eric Tomizawa, you hit upon a camera? Or did you want some carne asada? No, and hell no. Huh. Who have we here? My passport got stolen three days ago. You see it? <sighs> Gee, I don't know. Let me ask my manager. I don't think you have a manager. Dude, you really gonna hold out on him? I think he's fucking with us. Last time I checked, bro, I wasn't running a charity. I can pay. Oh, pretty please. I accept all payments in cash. Come back when you actually have business. Well, how much is it? I have money. Not much, but I have money. Well, you heard the bastard. You're gonna need to pay him up front. How much is he gonna want? Eh, somewhere around 30 bucks. That's so fucking cheap. Are you serious? Ugh, still pretty steep. What? Only to come up with some cash. Okay, no, I, I get well, that he's supposed to be that broke, but... I mean, I got like a hundred from the last boss fight alone. Hey, you, too. you can't really be come like, here. oh yeah, no, 30, that, that's so much. What happened to over here? You looking for a woman named Chitose? I am. Do you know her? You got any info? I might have an idea of where you could find her. <laughs> Pretty young thing, right? Got her hair and braids like a dancer? Yeah, yeah! That's gotta be her! Where'd you last see her, old-timer? Take this. This is... for sex work? Poundmates? Like an escort Wait, she works for Poundmates? No, it's not a... Kiryu, it's not a sex... serve well, sex... Why are they called escort? They should be sex escort. If they were smart, they would call them that. But not really, because then that would advertise what they're doing, and the whole point of an escort is that you don't... You can justify See, that no it's not for sex or that's illegal right never mind sex court is out up the number on that flyer and then that jatose girl showed up oh man she was unforgettable i just couldn't take my eyes off her from what i heard she's that company's top talent hmm. sounds like we have us a lead let's give him a ring and, and hey good looking now but gotta ask why bother helping a couple of strangers <laughs> 
always happy to assist my fellow Japanese. Not to mention, Jeff's a douche. I noticed. It's sick to watch him profit off of what he does. Well, guess what? I mean, to be honest, thirty dollars is insanely cheap to get your stolen passport back, in my opinion. But like, this is my property that was stolen. Give it to me, asshole. Do it. Ring, ring, hello. Gary, why is it called the love camp? Hi, uh, hello. I saw your flyer and See, pound mates I get, like the double entendre of it being like, oh, it's a, it's for pounding, right? Nah, it's for pounding. But a love camp. Congratulations. You're our hundredth customer. Not really a way you can misinterpret that. Your service today is on the house. Luck is in your favor, my friend. Oh, for real? Thanks. Now then. Could you please provide your name and current location? The name's Koska. I'm, uh, next to Chef's Taco Truck. Oh, that's quite a sketchy spot. I completely understand your concern. Uh, I, don't, I wouldn't say I'm concerned, exactly. Okay. Well, in that case, I'll send you one of our up-and-comers. Still wet behind the ears, but get the job done. What's the origin of wet behind the ears, meaning, like, new? Actually, Why do new people have wet ears? What does that mean? You want to request the Tose? Uh, just a moment, please. Hmm. Yeah? Hmm. Oh. Today really is your lucky day. As our rising star, the Tose's usually all booked up. But she does have an opening right now. Right now. Oh, what a relief. If you could, we send her on over. Of course. She'll be there lickety split. Thank you for your business. Thank you for doing what you do, Gary. Ain't nobody do it like Gary Buster Holmes. You'll be here lickety split, the guy said. Splickety lit. Strange though. I thought these businesses only send someone to your hotel. Not that I know. Oh yeah, yeah, you. Maybe it's more like a dating service. Like where you meet up somewhere and go to the hotel later. Or that's a thing these days. You sure know your stuff. You uh, do this pretty often. No, my dick remains untouched by all, except myself. Oh yeah, that's a good point. He is soap land baby. You learn something new every day. It's nothing special. Oh, sorry to keep you waiting. That's not Chitose. Where is she? From the top rope? Wait, she's Chitose? Hey, over here. I remember her from the demo. I didn't remember that being her name. Yeah. Holy shit. Whoa! Who are you? Oh, um, are you Mr. Kasuga? Uh, yeah, I, I'm Kasuga. Nice to meet you. I'm Chitose. <laughs> Can't believe we found you so quickly. What a flawless plan. Nice going, Kasuga. Is he being? Un I thought he was mocking him. He's being serious. Mm -hmm. Here, that's not. That's not her. What? We've got the wrong one. Yeah, this chick's completely different. What the hell, old man? Huh? Don't blame me. Isn't this what you're looking for? My name's. Chitose. I do find it funny. Her hair is exactly like Chitose's. The, well, the other Chitose. They're both Chitose. I think you're great, Chitose. Kasuga's a fucking coward. Hey, you shitheads making a racket. That's it. Time to shut you people up. What a reason to fight. You're loud. I'm going to kill you. Right. Hey, Things are about to get rough, so stay behind us. He's rougher. I ain't afraid of little boy over here. And besides. Isn't this what you called me over for? I like her. Huh? I'm not sure I understand. You requested me. Chitose okay, she Buster is Holmes. Buster Holmes. They're related. Mates is a unique service that she seems kind of young. Is she a daughter? The genetics on that one. Sorry, what? Hey, nobody fucking annoys me and lists to speak about it. You bitches are dead. Wait, Kiryu, you worked for Pound Mates. How do you not know what they are? Hell yeah. Also, but yeah, why wouldn't Ichiban remember? Oh yeah, Poundmates. Because that wasn't like an optional thing. That was mandatory. 
Back to Pound Town. So, in, unlike in 7, it seems like the more you use a pound mate, the like, stronger they get, which I like. I feel like I use them really sparingly because the price was sometimes pretty steep and not worth it. That's cool. Um, yeah. Also, something I remember from the demo is that some pound mates will not just do like the big attack. Love this new animation. Even as the fucking spike ball gauntlets. Yeah, so some t like in seven, normally you would just, they would summon and just do like one big attack, and that was that. But in this one, it seems like sometimes they'll just like become a fourth or I guess fifth party member. Chose annihilate this man. Thank you, Queen. She's so cool. I want her to join the party, not the other Chitose. Who the hell are these dudes? And that chick, she's a monster. Oh shit! Hold up. Is my stream not on? Okay. I hate when the playback on OBS does not play back. So, gonna run like a chicken? Or do we still got beef? What's I love that line. Chitose is great. Ah, please, please don't hurt me. And that does it for your free trial. Next time I'll have to charge, but I hope to see you again soon. Alrighty, toodles. Toodles. If RGG weren't fucking pussies, they would put her in as a party member. Oh, cool. He does remember Poundmates. Okay, we're addressing that. Again, Kiryu, you were part of Poundmates in the last game. Technically. Eh, well, you know. Good old Poundmates. Never would have guessed they'd expand all the way to Hawaii. Talk about going global. It's a global service. It's needed all over. Sorry. But she was a damn in the end. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I saw the sub story is called Busted. The Buster Holmes clan is the strongest of all warriors. 30 bucks? No hmm? cash. Oh, really? What? Oh, I think this cutscene might be different if I don't have the 30 bucks on me. But I do. Hi. So we can just... Yes. Never heard of little cash on hand. You know of any part-time under the table type gigs? Uh the table we've done picking up cans on a bike? Did that when I was homeless. So if we got on a bike, maybe we could hack as a delivery guy. Oh yeah, okay, that's a, that's actually a good thing. I never really made that connection between the bike game and the last game and the new bike crazy taxi delivery Uber Eats. What an elaborate thing to call one mini game. When do I get my segue? When can I scoot around town? And three mail once you're approved, go wait by Aloha Beach. Yo. I could just shoot the email for you, save it a hassle. Could that be great? I'll head over to Aloha Beach in the meantime. Where are they making me do that anyways? Okay, that's a little annoying. Just let me a lot of pigeons in Hawaii. Pigeons. I mean Ijincho had a bunch, but there feels like more here. Chickens too. And the birds' behavior seems subtly different. If you eat outside, before long they all start closing in on you. Kiryu san! You ever have a meal stolen by a pigeon? No. I've been surrounded by 20 ones. But I held my ground. Though, it was a 10 stand. <laughs> Even pigeons respect Kiryu's glare. What a weird story. Thank you. And thank you for the follow, Mikhail Thomas. Did I read that right? Mikhail Thomas, yes. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hope you're having a rad day. Boop. Bomb. They just leave bombs all over the place in this city. It's very dangerous. Movie theater hot dogs are so dangerous. I know exactly what you mean. Same deal with popcorn. Location really makes the meal. 
Yeah. Eating inside the theater totally sits in the I go out and watch movies just so I can get my hands on that hot dog. I'm not sure what to say about the order of your priorities. We're really opening up. All right. There's nowhere better to get hot dogs in the movie theater. That's a lot of hassle just to get a hot dog. Uh, fulminous bomb. Move. This area is really nice. It feels so alive and vibrant. Oh, this is where I can change jobs. I can't do that yet, though. So never mind. Wait, did they list all the jobs? No. Okay. I wonder if I've been here. It's been so long since I went to Japan. I mean, Hawaii. I don't remember what parts I went to or, like, recognize anything. There are street performers in Japan, but Hawaii's go all out. You turn a corner and there's someone swallowing fire. There's a lot of history behind public performance here. And this area is especially popular with tourists. A lot of acts have actually gotten their start just nearby. Oh, so these streets are like gateways to fame. In a jean show, there was a guitar duo that got big from Buskin. Guess it's kind of like Buskin. that here. From street performer to signs? Oh, why don't we try it? We could get scouted. It's a good idea. Make our major label debut. Sounds fun, all right? Yeah, let's rock the world. We'll change entertainment forever. Whoa, wait. You're not joking, are you? No, we're going to become street performers. It is our calling. Mium. Cross the street. Oh, hello. What is this enemy? Dance dictator. Oh! Did I throw a deflated soccer ball at him? How fun. Bicycle. I love the combos. I never get tired of them. I like feeling like my basic attacks have value to them. So I don't have to rely on special skills all the time. What do you want, squatty boys? I should have used speed mode. Where'd those other two come from? I didn't see them anywhere. Give me your item, bellhop. Fuck you. the street Oof. coconut water why was there a watermelon in that tree that's not how that works you're lying you're a liar Ooh. around here you said this place has delivery jobs hey, it should anyway hang out for a while they'll show up uh, I I'm gonna take off uh, good luck to you <laughs> that's it Figured you were staying. I don't know why you thought that. I am a taxi driver, not some pedal-pushing bike boy. 
Take it sleazy. Fuck you. There he is. Crazy biker. Oh shit, the Akira slide. Yeah, we got that in there. Hey, you looking for a job, bro? Huh? Uh, uh, yeah. All right, all right. Hmm. Wild pro, unique face. Getting a real wholesome moron vibe from you. You did it. You summed down Ichiban to a T. You got a problem? Who the hell are you anyway? Me? I'm from the company you applied to. Crazy Eats. Food so fast, you'll think you've gone crazy. Call me Charlie. I was hoping he would say it like crazy eats, like crazy taxi. From, seriously? Um, sorry. My name's Ichiban Kasuga. I'm flat broke, so I need any work you've got. I beg you. Nice, nice. I like a guy who just lays it all out like that. You might just have what it takes to be crazy. Okay, you're in, Ichi bro. Welcome aboard. Huh? Uh, hell yeah. Sure, you've got the goods. More importantly, we're short staff. We'll hire anybody these days. Dogs, monkeys, bugs. Shit, you name it. The monkeys are top employee this month. Okay. Yep, now, enough chit chat. Let's get you. Uh, sure. So, um, what's the job like? I only know it's some kind of food delivery. Yeah, that's right. We pick the food up and bike it on over to customers. The real money is in tips. By which I mean the only money you keep is from tips. More deliveries, more dinero. All right. Robert. Good food. The faster I go, the more I make. You know, when I was really hard up, I used to bike around for empty cans. I got this. <laughs> it's wild, man. I should tell you, though, there's one other way to earn moolah on this gig. Something that'll boost my pay? Hell yeah. I'm all here. Well, I'm talking about delivering crazy. What does that mean? I mean, we're crazy eats, aren't we? A crazy delivery is what we strive to embody. Crazy is I suppose. Crazy. For example, consider how I made my entrance just now. Jump, spinning around, screaming. It's captivating stuff. That was pretty cool. Seeing our delivery associates act fun and funky is exactly what Crazy Eats is all about. The extra Just Imagine if DoorDash made their like we want to make the drivers do stuff like this, like act a certain way. Crazy. Look where we are. People come here for a reprieve from the dull and ordinary. Do you really think food delivery in paradise should be? It's a nice idea, but writing like that? Wouldn't all of it just spill? Not if you're good enough. That's where your skill as a contract deliverist can ride as fantastic somewhere. In all that chaos lies the brilliance of a true crazy thing. Huh. And okay. Listen, even if the food does take a spill, we got insurance for it. Customers will hopefully be understanding. Of course, we hopefully. Can deliver, so look out. For sure. Okay. All right, let's go. So I played this in the demo, but I haven't played that in a while. So, you know, refresher is needed. Burgers. I have got some speed. Try pulling off a trick. I'd love to. a certified deliverer. Love seeing promising new staff join the ranks. Okay, cool. Are you ready? Let's get crazy. Way to go. Good delivery. Follow the guy. This is crazy. Genius. Sorry, sir. Crazy delivery. So is there a way I can actually like fuck up the food? Because it kind of seems like, you know. Genius. Burger. Delivery 
Fuck. Good delivery. Oh, I lost my craziness. Crazy hamburger. He's a... What's this do? What? Holy shit! <laughs> okay, there we go. Now I won't take fall damage. These bouncers are just straight money. How much money do I actually get to keep? I'm not really keeping, keeping track of, like, tips. Unless that entire amount in the top corner are, are, are my total. But that doesn't seem right or logical or accurate to how much apps like these let you make as a driver. So in all fairness, I guess I shouldn't compare other delivery services to Crazy Eats. Clearly a different breed. What? I didn't even see what happened. Yeah. I mean, part of the point of the, uh, like, can collecting game in 7 was that you got a lot of points, but you only actually, money-wise, you only got so much. This kind of seems to be the same. They should make a new crazy tax again. That'd be a good idea. Yeah, burger. That was hard work. That's real crazy. Yo, that's crazy. Oh, do we do that thing where I don't actually get money? I just get points, and then I can use that points to get money and other things. That's the last of it. Excellent, Ichi, bro, that was sick. You almost never see someone disrupt so hard on their first go. My man. Crazy deliveries might just be what you were born to do. <laughs> Thanks. It was tough, but once I got into a groove, pretty fun. It was pretty fun. Oh, isn't it? The rush Definitely more fun than the cr can game from Seven. Of your presentation, you can't get that feeling from just riding a bike. You need the pressure of delivering. For most people, it's too much. Adrenaline demons like you, bro, you're gonna master it and get rich. Work hard and become the craziest delivery associate we ever had. Oh, hey, let me give you this. Something to commemorate your first run. 30 bucks. Thanks. Oh, exactly Lucky the amount you need Charlie. to get your passport. Ditto, bro. This is your calling. I know it. Remember, ABC, always be crazy. So how much money do I actually make from that? Oh, oh, yeah, he's a pound mate. Remember that from the demo? Totally. <laughs>
Okay. Yeah, so you don't actually get paid. So I made roughly 20 bucks. Plus the 30 bonus. But you don't want to sell that on... Is that a tomahawk steak? That's just a steak meat club. That's just a fish. That's just a lollipop. Oh, this is an Eric weapon. I was trying to think of what class would a tomahawk steak be. Ah, oh, whatever. So minus a 30... Okay, so I have 200 bucks on me. so cool getting it being able to hear like the average passerbys in these games in english it's like again what are you doing why do you keep doing that my like dream playback in the t twitch dashboard is like it, it keeps seizing and showing nothing As long as the stream's up. Jeff, give me my fucking passport, you bitch. Uh, it's you. I've got your money. That's enough to get you to talk? Hmm, I suppose. What should I be talking about again? My passport got stolen three days ago. I want to know if someone brought it by. Hmm. Someone sure did. Really? She was Japanese, and not to mention gorgeous. She's pretty cute. No doubt that passport was yours. <laughs> I couldn't forget that thuggish face or blown up hair if I tried. Okay, so she sold it to you? Oh, no. She wasn't here to make money. She just wanted to know if it would get her into District 5. District 5? Uh, that's the Barracuda's hideout. What? Their hideout? You mean the guys from yesterday? Yeah, they got a squatter encampment across the river. It's all fenced in with guards posted up at every corner. And if you're not one of them, huh, no good luck getting in or out. Okay, and how's my passport supposed to get someone in? Well, they have an interesting rule. If you're an outsider, they tell you to go steal a passport. Why is that? That's a very specific thing. That's how they make their money fabricating passports mm. apparently the only way to make a good fake is by altering an original i see the logic Every in that passport i buy i sell to them though not directly of course so someone else's passport is your ticket to district five huh pretty much here you give me your passport <laughs> and the girl who came by with yours that ticket's probably long gone though a girl like her should not be anywhere near district five by herself oh wait i tried to tell her but no Nobody listens to Jeff. Then what would make her even want to go in? Beats me. But I doubt you'll see your passport again, brother. Once it's in District 5, it does not leave. Well, I need it back. I've got business with the thief who took it. Yeah. Well, you can kiss your thief goodbye, too. Unless you follow her into District 5 somehow. Your adventure ends here, pal. Okay, well, it kind of seems obvious what we need to do then. I'd rather live to see tomorrow, so... Shut up, Eric. We're going to die. Or at least Kiryu is, but not now. We're only on chapter three. Someone might even be holding her captive. And right now, Chitose's our only lead. Can we get into District 5 another way? <laughs> I mean, maybe. But you're better off just swiping a passport. Hey, if there's another way, just tell us. Look, bottom line. District 5 is an impenetrable fortress of bombs. But if you're a cop, you could probably get in. Not a cop. Yeah, <laughs> they do a monthly sweep there, claiming it's for safety reasons. But they just walk in. And All right, I'm still wanted by the police. The inside. They're just doing it to keep up appearances. All they care about is that and donuts. Anyway, if you want to know the guy in charge, his name is Roman. He's probably in deep with the Barracuda. So we'll ask Roman to bring us along on patrol. That could be an option. Man, I never want to see a cop again. True. I feel that way all the time, man. Maybe leave the talking to me. Mm, guys, you gotta realize 
Roman's gonna flag this as a risk. And he's a greedier jerk off than me. Expect to pay him 50,000 bucks. That's a bit much. A buck's like a hundred yen, right? That'd be... Five million in yen? Please don't bring him yen. And besides, there's no <laughs> way you can afford it. Is it clear you're wasting your time yet? Yes, very. I'd say this is our chance. We don't have that money, gear you. <laughs> you have a mattress full of money lying around? No. Everything is negotiable. That's all. Well, I don't know who you think you are. But what's the harm in trying? He drinks every night at Diamond Head, a bar by District 5. We are Kamai now? Sure. Hey, are we really doing this? What's Eric's reason to be with us? Out of curiosity. Obviously, Kiryu and, Ado guys, and Ichiban like... are looking for Why? Akane. Something wrong. But what, what's Eric really doing? shouldn't go to District 5. I'm saying this for your own good. I mean, we did save him from Yamai, but... It's practically suicide. We're aware of the danger, but we don't have time on our side. If going into District 5 is the quickest way to solve things, then so be it. Right. It's not like we're out to wreck the place. We're just going to look for Chitose and get out. Yeah, if things play out right, we might not have to deal with the Barracudas at all. See? It's exactly that kind of thinking that's going to get us all killed. Maybe you're right. Maybe they're more dangerous than we realize because we're not from here. But what's this really all about? Something tells me you've got more to say. I don't think he does. We saw firsthand how you have history dangerous these guys are. Is that it? I don't think we need a personal story after seeing a man get crucified and gutted at once. He's right. And until all for trying to steal a wallet. Hound you to the ends of the earth. You know how persistent he is. You really gotta put it like that. So, this is far from a fun story, and not a short one either. Flashback. It all happened a few years back. I was just a simple taxi driver. No Yamai, no cons, none like that. None like that. So you really were an honest cabbie, once? Yeah, well, I also wasn't rich, but... I was happy. I had a woman to love, and man, did she love me. You believe we almost had a kid? And looking back, those were the best days. How old is Eric supposed to be? He comes off as a lot younger than Ichiban. Not a lot, but younger. Her name was Marie. She was astounding. And you guys would love her. Anyway, she was nearly six months pregnant when it happened oh my god they killed his pregnant wife at our place with a warrant for my arrest. girlfriend what they came to arrest you for what they said i held up a cab and stole a bunch of money from some executive what the hell i was being framed obviously but the witnesses kept pouring in and before i knew it the judge gave me five years in prison and the attorney had told me if I tried pleading innocent, they'd lock me for 15 years instead. So you pled guilty then? Yeah. It was... Either I swallow the five years, or take the risk and triple it. And I was too broke to hire a better lawyer. It was like a nightmare I couldn't wake up from. I have my whole life ahead of me, and then in an instant, it was gone. I never even understood why. That is, till I got to prison. Turns out I wasn't the only one screwed over like this. They told me so themselves. You mean the guys in prison? Yeah. Apparently, the Barracudas get away with so much shit because their boss will set up innocent people instead. Yeah, that's what that guy tried to do to Ichiban. Fake witnesses or buy out the police if he has to. You remember Roman? That cop Jeff mentioned? He's the guy pulling the strings on the law side. <sighs> Seems not a lot's changed since then. So the Barracudas have the police in their pocket. Uh, how'd Marie take it? When I got locked up, she only came to see me once. She told me she miscarried. And she was under so much stress. Should have seen it coming. I doubt she was eating right or getting any sleep. Her eyes were sunken. She was thin as a bone. All because this bullshit that happened to me. And that was the last I saw of her. When I got out, 
couldn't find a single trace of her. Honestly, I just hope that she's out there. I told you this wasn't gonna be fun. And that's only half the That story. sucks. What do you mean when half? I, free, I started hanging by this fancy restaurant in District 5. Why? Because word inside was that it was the favorite haunt of the Barracuda's balls. So I spent every last cent I had to my name and bought a gun. Shit. For revenge. No shit, Kiryu. For Marie. For a child who never had a chance at life. I knew what the boss looked like. I'm not sure anymore how long it took, but I kept watching until the day he showed his face. When I was locked up, always imagined it going the exact same way. I rushed past his goons, stepped right up to him, and emptied my whole clip point blank. And the moment came. Yeah, it's that easy to kill a gang leader, I'm sure. Shaking. That easy. Couldn't move. Even Eric could do it. He even had fewer guards than I pictured. Should have been easy. It was the one day he Ask forgot me. his bulletproof what? vest. Me. The only time he, he didn't have it. In the world. I'm a fucking coward. I know. Maybe. But that's why you're alive today. True. If you did that, the rest of the there. Barracudas would have fucking annihilated you. Realistically, you wouldn't have solved anything. Because the Barracudas as a gang would still be around. You would have killed one guy. Right now, a ghost? Who robs tourists with a gun? He hasn't got the courage to shoot? Isn't it better to die for something than to live for nothing? That's a fucking line. Damn. With all my money gone, I fell in with Yamai. Pay my debts. Oh, I hate that guy. He's the only man left in Hawaii He's still stupid enough to compete with the Barracudas. Really? His operation doesn't seem nearly big enough. I'm even stupider for following him. Maybe I was hoping he'd be able to take them down someday. But I knew it had never happened. So that's my well, that's interesting. That I mean, he seemed to now who you're namely follow him with Yamai due to the deaths, but I kind of like the idea that he supported them just because he could sure potentially beat the Barracudas. Which I don't think he ever could, yeah. but you know, Eric doesn't seem very smart. These Barracuda guys are fucking savage. You've got yourself all wrong, Tomizawa. Huh? You're not a little not bitch. A I never said I was. And you're no coward. I saw you walk away from Yamai. That took real courage. I saw you close your eyes and scream and shoot at him like a little baby girl. Come on, man, you talked me into it. But you did it. That doesn't matter. You made the decision. It was your call, nobody else's. You're your own master now. No more robbing people, okay? Can we agree on that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, is that a shirt underneath his all Hawaiian shirt, or is that still the I bandages from when you want to walk Yamai hit him with the crowbar? If you really think you're scum, that you're just another criminal? I'm a criminal. This might be the only way to change that. A way to start living again. <sighs> Look, killing the boss of the Barracudas or not, that's another call you'll have to make yourself. All I know is that I'm not going to stand by and let them keep getting away with their shit. And if you're up for it, I know you'll be able to help us take them down. <laughs> you want me? <laughs> if you haven't noticed, our English is pretty rough. Sounds fine to me. A translator. Besides that, there I say you sound fluent. fast. It's going to District 5. And I don't know anybody as well acquainted with the Hawaiian underworld as you. Help us out and maybe get the chance to set things right. Not a bad deal, is it? What do you think, Kiryu san? Hmm. It may be dangerous, but it could also be your one path to redemption. You two are some lousy salesmen, honest. Thank you. If you're still planning to take the Barracudas on after all you've heard, and that guy we saw get crucified yeah. and gutted. And fine. There's got to be a faster word for that. Guttified. Two gooders like you. Crucified. The Barracudas will eat you alive without me. Yeah. <laughs> eat you alive. I get it. Because they're a carnivorous animal. Glad to have you on board, Tomizawa. You're both nuts. You nuts, kill you. First things first. We find Roman. You have a good eye for teammates. Thanks. I made a whole party once. <laughs> It's not hard to tell when someone needs a friend. Let's do this. Are we all friends? I love my friends. Aloha. 
Ooh, we can get a nice summer dress. Nice bikini for Kiryu. Thank you. Go off that summer bod. Aloha. I didn't realize what I bought. I thought I just bought a bunch of items. I should probably pay attention before I spend $55 on an assortment of coffee. Probably not worth it. Where's Roman? Oh yeah, so this entire part of the map, like everything west of here, was unavailable in the demo. So whatever's over there, I got no clue. But that's just part of the fun, isn't it? Shut up. Okay. I'm feeling good. And I'm feeling good. We're friends with Yushiko. Regal Jack, who is Jack. I met a guy named Jack once, but his real name was Crack. We called him Jack to make him feel better about himself because his name was Crack. Yeah, look at my ball. Have you ever had Kiryu's in karaoke? Kiryu's very good at karaoke. Are these guys an enemy? They're in a car. That was weird. Jawbreaker. Here we go. Oof. Over here. Hag Scrag. What a fun name. Looks like I'm up. Kind of thought that would set up a combo attack. Why do you explode? What was that for? God, this game's so pretty. Aw, oh, bad fortune. They still move out of the way. Here we go. Let's go. Woo. Right, I have to be mindful of heat actions. That thing Kiri is known for. Hello. Thank you. A dog. Hey, What's your name? Noir. That's a good dog. That's a noir dog. I have some dog food conveniently on me. For you, Noir. Cabs aren't that cheap, right? Back to the cab was only four dollar dues. I don't think cabs are four dollar dues. I like the caterpillar, man. Ah. 
guys are so funny looking. Shut up. What are you looking at? It's not a show, shithead. Damn you. I thought I could skeet on by. Alright. Let's get it done. I just it's a fucking werewolf. We what go. is this? Time to take out the trash. Where you at, girl? Well, at least the crowd's friendly. <laughs> you look like a cop. Or Roman. And I'm gonna guess you're new in town. Welcome to Hawaii, pal. Seems you're quick to make friends. The taco guy told me all about you. Uh. Yeah, he said there's some real snaky people trying to join the Barracudas. Snaky. <laughs> Good old Jeff. Always I like that they mentioned Eric sentences. needed to be a translator because their English is shit, but he has never done that even Do once. American cops love to hear themselves talk? Yes! Jeff, you yes, Ichiban, you're getting it. Asshole. I'll tell you right now, we're not interested in joining a gang. All we want is to get into District 5 and get out. We heard you could make that happen. Oh, you did? Well, I do lead a regular patrol there, but come on. Do I look like the type to go around making backroom deals? Yes. And you, you're that John Doe who bolted out of the station. You can't prove that. I don't think you're in any position to be asking me favors, especially concerning District 5. You tell me something, Roman. You a family man? No, more of a Simpsons guy. I just thought a bright, honest cop like yourself might have a family waiting at home. I envy that, you know? Well, I do have a bombshell of a wife. Cool, I'm gonna so, fuck her. There's my pride and joy. Kid's turning 20 this year. How <laughs> time flies. Yeah, it's funny, he keeps asking me for a sports car. What he wants is 50 grand. Can you believe it? I mean, I'm just a glorified beat cop. You know how little they pay me? If only there was someone out there, some kind soul who could grant my son's wish. Ah, oh, but surely there's no one that generous. <laughs> Did he really just ask for 50 grand? <laughs> Maybe Jeff's not such an asshole after all. Like how subtle he was about it. By which I mean fucking not at all. What are you doing? <laughs> so what's it gonna be? Feeling generous today? The way I see it, you boys don't have much of a choice. I'm sure you noticed, but... Me and my guys run the show here. One wrong move might land you a trip to the coroner's office. <laughs> Whatever happened to protect and serve, huh? Roman. If all you're after is money, you'll have to try someone else. Now, I suggest you take us to District 5 before things get out of hand. <laughs> what did you just say? I said I'd like you to take us to District 5 we'll before things get out of hand. Is he, is he hard of hearing, Ijiban? Charges. Oh yeah, that too. You can take care of that for me. You're hardly the first cop I've seen point a gun. But the ones I know only do it to save a life. To uphold the values they believe in. Oh, Alright, because there was no corrupt cops in Japan. Fuck Stay off. Back. Maybe I have no right to say this. But seeing scum like you hold a badge. I mean, I'm all for like shitting on makes me police sick. in America. I'm all for that. But like, let's not get righteous about this, Kiryu. Well, it's not a country sick. thing. All I'm doing is talking. Yeah, it's kind of a country and thing. Let's be real. One off. Don't just stand there. 
Why do you have lackeys, Freddy? No need to go soft, boys. I want to see these fuckers in a coma. He looks so interesting, his face. I'll teach you some respect. Let's do it. Has there ever been a white likeness character in these games? Love them all clumped together, nice and easy. Mm. Ow. Thin blue line. Oh good, he's electric proof. Get an electric move really early on in this game. Like all the good ones I remember from seven, you do not get quick. <laughs> that was the most nonchalant gunshot I think I've ever seen in this franchise. Hand on the hip. Again, why does he always shoot with the hand on his hip? It looks so weird. Oh! Mm. Get him! Get him, Ichiban! Ooh. That was good, from the top rope. Back shots. Downtown Justice. Oh shit! I'm a little nervous. But we're gonna do this. Zip zap is up. Here we go. Let's make this quick. Nothing like a good bar brawl. See, we've fought in a bar before in Yakuza, but the American bars are different. That was a real bar brawl. Learning more every day. All the bars I can think of in Yakuza are like pretty fancy. <laughs> that voice crack. I like Eric. He's grown. He grew on me really fast. No, 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 no! I just said I liked him. I just liked him. You eat shit. That was your comeback. God, Roman sucks. Why'd you do that? Why well, to save you? You nearly got your head blown off just now. Oh. <laughs> True that. Close one, huh? More than close, dumbass. How the hell can you just throw your life away? Get the hell! I like that he's mad at him for that. I'd take a bullet for a bud any day. We're friends, Eric. Which reminds me, how's the hair? I can't tell. Tell me, Kirisan, I don't have a bald patch, do I? And I think the bullet ripped a chunk out. Does it look bad? Hmm. Can't say I see any difference. The tips are a bit burned. But. Your hair looks like it's seen more bullets than one. Your hair sucks, Kiri. You don't because talk. Standing up on end? Look, pal, I'll have you know this is a custom job. I like that he's like into his hair now. He hated it at the beginning of seven. They are. How oh, good you woke up conveniently in time for us to get what we want. Straight. Not only are you a barracuda pawn, you've been using your position to frame people. Thought that was established. I asked you a question. Yeah, that's right. And Tomizawa and Kasuga here are two of your latest victims? Uh, yeah, 
What of it? What do you mean, what of it? Tomizawa, save that anger for the Barracudas. You'd only be wasting it on him. Uh, fuck! Listen up. You're gonna wipe every last charge your boys gave me. Right now? I can't even take a step on this beautiful island without looking over my shoulder. The cops have not in, like gotten our way once All since right. they run. Fine. Thank you, officer. Don't forget. We also need access to District 5. You don't know what you're asking. It's not some asinine tourist trap. Believe me, but it's on all the brochures. Around. We're looking for a girl who's in there. I'll level with you. I can get you in. Simple enough. But if the Barracudas found out, there'd be hell to pay. <laughs> you saying they're a bigger threat than I am? Think about that carefully. Okay, okay. Let's just... No. I, based on, again, yeah. going back to the crucifixion. Yes, of... I'd be more scared of the Barracudas than you, Kiryu. You'll just punch a guy. That's more or do some really elaborate heat move. But you don't crucify you people. I think. Fine, right? Here. Sorry I won't buy you a sports car. Where do you have that money? Here you son. I don't have the words right now, man. Finally, I can walk around free. Also, did that answer my so question if the Daidoja gave him like crazy amount of Maybe money because if he needs it for the mission? I mean, right, really realistically, right? It, he's a secret agent. He has all kinds of things he needs for a job. If he needs money, they gotta give him money. Mm. I ain't talking no chump change. All right. Crabs. Not crabs. I don't know why I said crabs. Oh, what the fuck? Abilities yet? I've just been using these basic attacks. hit him into that caused the burn essence of dagger oh yeah you know now that i bring up the whole crucifixion thing i'm reminded here you did in fact crucify well not crucify but there's a heat move where he'll like stab your hand into a wall which is like part of a crucifixion but there's, there's more to it gotta kind of like spread the body in the right way club guilty Oh, I want to wander. Can I call taxis to the phone? Yes. I do truly apologize if my energy this stream seems low. I am I, I didn't sleep well. I know I started late, but realistically, I don't think the stream's going to be too long tonight. Maybe another half hour, if even that. You boy don't sleep good lately. It's the brain. It's the brain. Hey, I want to see if there are other skills I forgot about. Yeah, just these ones.
fucking oh my god i realized how much i love this like area at night well not the area but i mean the area here is the entirety of hawaii at sunset i can't i can't stress enough the sunset i saw when i went i'll never forget that i forgot some other things on the chip but i'll never forget that what else do i remember from that trip i remember dole whips those are tasty I think I could sleep for a week. Sleep is for the week. You misunderstood. Oh, this is the cutscene where he. Yeah, I remember this in the trailer. How are you still on your feet, Kiryu-san? I guess you're just built different, huh? I wouldn't say that. I'm barely holding up myself. As a matter of fact, uh huh. Yep, here I go, and then he falls on the floor. Today, I think we all could use a drink to lift our spirits. There is ice in the freezer. As for glasses, you can find some in the bar. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I'll just grab a couple of these. <sighs> Thanks. <sighs> you really held your own today, Tomizawa. <laughs> I've been around the block, man. And one morning, I'm rolling with you by. Next day, sharing a roof with you two. And soon, we'll be deep in District 5. It's crazy how life switches it up on you. Sorry to drag you into all this. It's a lot. You didn't drag me into nothing. I figure this is just part of getting my life together. For real, though, you guys really did save my life. Maybe even my damn soul. And damned or not, I'm not just gonna bail on you. Not after what you did. So, sorry for the inconvenience, but you're stuck with me. <laughs> I really like Eric. I'll drink He's definitely not, like, as badass as Kiryu Ichiban. He's not that guy like they are. But he commits. Remember what you said at the house? I had a choice, and I made it. Only reason I joined his little syndicate in the first place is because I couldn't pay back what I owed him. And then before I knew it, I was 30, with nothing to show for it. Age doesn't mean squat. It's never too late to turn a new leaf, no matter how heavy it is. Nah, I'm 24. It's over for me if I haven't achieved my dreams. Just look at me, man. I was locked up for 18 years, and when I got out, I was in my 40s. I never I'm still a virgin. Uh, how should I put it? <laughs> it's been one wild ride. So chin up, Tommy. I'm sure you'll be Tommy. just fine. I like calling him Tommy. 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 Yeah, Tommy. As in Tomi's hour. You're, you're Tomi. Dude, that's lame as hell. I mean, you could just call me Eric. What? Uh, Tomi's perfect for you. Kiryu-san. I don't like these up. American names, Tomi. Can't say much for the nickname thing. But you're right about turning a new leaf. I was going to call him Zawa. As long as you stick to it, you'll find yourself in a better place. Uh, oh, sorry. I, I should have poured you in first. Uh, you... Good with it on the rocks? No thanks. I thought I was gonna drink the whole bottle. I like to feel the heat. Oh my god, I hate you so much. I'm glad you're doing it. <laughs> Anyhow. Why do you say shit like this? Just be aware that everything has to end sometime. Oh, he's dying this game. You can always turn a new leaf. But you can't turn back the clock. Yakuza 9 will introduce time All travel. It's the precious time you're given. That's why you've got to live every last moment to the fullest. I figured I knew that well enough already. But to my surprise, I still had a lot left to learn. Uh, Kiryu-san? Did something happen? Yeah, if anyone deserves to know, it's the guys who have my back.
Thing is, I've got cancer. <gasps> Seems I've got half a year left, at most. Oh, really? Ah, I did see they put the first part of the trailer that he had cancer. They didn't include the second part about six months. Holy shit. I mean, di diagnoses can be wrong like that. People can pull through and, you know, Kiryu is built different in the Jeddo. I keep joking about it, but I think a, 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 a bro might die today. Okay, so this is a few years ago. Oh, I saw a video like this on TikTok the other day. It wasn't radioactive material, it was just too, like normal stuff. This is much worse. storage facility for decommissioned reactors the forklift driver had a sudden heart attack wait so he didn't even just get One cancer just like like the way normal like just by happenstance he got exposed to radioactive material filled with much contaminated dirt worn out components protective suits as far as radioactive waste goes it was low risk but the thing about radioactive low waste is low risk is still radioactive waste. Experts were concerned. In light of that, there is no certainty it was the cause. Then why bother mentioning the it? Cancer could have come from just about anywhere. Even forty years of non-stop smoking, twenty packs a fucking day. I still smoke, by the way. I never stopped. I won't let them have that win. Hold up. What are you doing in a friggin' reactor? This is nuts. Chernobyl. This is how I chose to make amends. Leaving my old life behind meant living in the shadows for good. Every time I stepped into the light, the people I loved got hurt. It had to stop. Trouble is, there's not a lot you can do in the dark. Not a lot of good, anyway. So... This was your answer to all that? Yeah. This was something I chose. Hardest part was convincing that I doge you to let me do it. <sighs> and this is much bigger than me. Right now, that reactor's full of people willing to step up and do the work that needs to be done. All I wanted was to play a part however I could. I'm the dragon that stepped up. Otherwise, I probably would have wasted away into nothing by now. That's about the smartest thing I could think of. Why couldn't like cool radioactive sludge fall on him when he becomes a mutant? That'd be a great idea for a Yakuza game. Are you sure there's not some mistake? All you've got is half a year? Yeah. That's how long it'll take me to 100% this game. I wanted was to make a big deal out of it. That's so curious. But then I figured it wouldn't be right if I kept this from you guys. Yeah, I don't know. You seem like you're in good shape to me. <laughs> well, I can still haul ass when need be. <clears throat> that said, I need to pick my battles wisely for my health. Uh, so... Is that why, back at Akane's, you weren't exactly spoiling for a fight with Yamai? Yeah. In my youth, I would have decimated no. him in two seconds. It would not be hard. I'm a bit hurt. <laughs> you really think I'd pick a random fight? Yes. This shit's unreal. Who do you think you are, Kiryu? Kiryu-san. 
of all people. The fan base be like. Man, you don't have time to be out here wrecking yourself like this. That's what I'm saying. What you need right now is a doctor. Believe me, I've gone. No, you haven't. I don't believe you. Cancer spread. Metastasized. I don't know what that means. Nothing any surgery can fix. Drink a stamina. They gave me some pills to ease things, but that's it. Still, if you're sick, then you need to be getting your rest. You said it's the Daidoji faction calling the shots here. Well, I've got some words for them. Oh, yeah. No, I'll make this right. Kasuga, it's not like that. I would love to see him write an angry letter to the fucking Daidoji. My being here and everything. That was my decision from the start. If it helps, I'm not just following orders. And don't feel like you dragged me into this either. So why did he agree to this mission, specifically? <laughs> he didn't well, know this was Ichiban's mom or nothing, right? I just don't think retirement's in the cards for me. Why are you like this? Sure, maybe I could stop and settle down. But I'd rather put what time I've got left to work. Work? Doing what? Running around on the government's leash? Instead of that, how about you stop running away from reality? Call him out. Oh no, he's taller. <laughs> he folded instantly. <laughs> don't, don't, I'm not good with eye contact. Please don't. I think I'm gonna hit the shower. <laughs> when I'm out, we'll rock, paper, scissors. See who gets the floor. Fight him for it. He's weak, Ichiban. If you could ever actually beat Kiryu in a fight, the time is now. <laughs> is he for real? Hey, Kaska. You okay? No, a guy I met yeah. once is dying. It's really getting to me. The guy's basically a superhero or whatever, but that's just <laughs> crazy. I was gonna just met Kiryu when he already knows that. He's got cancer. Once he's out of the shower. Let's try to convince him to go to the hospital again. He's not going to. Here in town. No. We have the it's biggest hospital in the world. No one be enough to stop him now. Huh? Kiryu son. He had the same look in his eyes as Arakawa son. See you tomorrow, Ichi. I see now. They're the same. He had already made up his mind too. But that makes it sound like he what knew he was going to die. Who did? Also, yeah, he doesn't know who Arakawa Actually, is. It's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> he just went into the whole Arakawa That's spiel and he's like, "Wait, I don't you haven't mentioned that guy to me There's yet." Who? Thing we can do. We get this taken care of quick as possible, then get him to a hospital. Sound good? What? Man, I just don't get you guys. Listen, Tommy. It's the Yakuza way. <laughs> I love that for him. <laughs> Think about it. If you up and die, it's all over. <sighs> I love just plopping on a bed like that. Also, imagine like not giving Kiryu the bed after finding that out. We'll rock, paper, scissors for the floor. Yeah, no, let him sleep on the floor. All right, let's get moving. What? Are you still upset? Yes. No, I'm not upset. Still, it did catch me One off. thing I was curious about this game, or one thing I was worry. interested to see, Sorry. would be, like, it's once, you know, Kiryu kind of discloses more about his life, well, I mean, not just the cancer, but, like, himself in general. I was curious how me. Ichiban would react to, like... Seriously. That's what I can only call Kiryu's I didn't know running away habit. I would have never it's a problem that I've something. always had with Kiryu that I get, honest, like, I logically, but, away. I don't know, it, it happens said, all the time. It feels like a really, like, big character flaw with so, him. For my sake, do you think you can rely on us it's like half you? that, half a martyr well, complex. I'm not about to treat you like you're on your deathbed. We're here too, you know? I'll like hold so, doors open sure for you if you want. We got your back. This way, you won't push yourself too hard, and we'll stay happy, right? Right. Mm, I see. All right. Yeah. I'll try to do that. For what it's worth, 
Your help means a lot. Both of you. <laughs> Just doing what we can. Yeah? Yeah. Definitely. Happy to help. Right. Enough chit chat. Where to? Good question. We still have a bit of time before our meeting. There's no telling what we'll be up against. Mm. How about the Anaconda Shopping Center? Close to District 5, and they got pretty much everything. Cool. Stock up there first. They got anacondas. They got snakes. I've still gone quite a while without being able to change my job. Oh, what was that? Thank you for the follow, Madison. Hope you're having a rad day. Oh, Richardson, what's up, bro? Little secret glove or something. Oh, hey, man. Fancy seeing you here. Nah, nothing secret. It's just Tomizawa joined us recently, so we thought he'd give us a tour of the city. What's up? How's it? Anyway, we're going to scope out the Anaconda Shopping Center and see what we can find. Well, fun as that sounds, still a public shopping center. I'm not exactly the type of place to go brandishing a bat, know what I mean? <sighs> uh oh, sure. Yeah, you got to put that away, Ichiban. You can't just walk around with that. You look like a psychopath. Hell are you do <laughs> Is it implied he just holds it in his hands everywhere he goes? This is kind of my trusty partner back home, so I guess it's a force of habit. Oh, he totally does. You look like a fucking maniac. I see. Either way, whatever you do is none of my business. Bill, if you need to shape up, I've got a good shop you can go. What kind of shop? It's a garage called Julie's Gearworks up on Hula Avenue. Won't find a better mechanic in the whole city. You bring the goods, they'll make it happen. Guaranteed shine no matter the job. One visit, and I'm sure that bat of yours will sparkle. Maybe better than ever. Maybe gold with electricity. A fool? That sounds great. One more thing, the place fronts is not a repair shop. They won't normally take any other business, but they yours truly sent you and there shouldn't be an issue. Thanks. Got it. Thank you, Richardson. How are you alive? Yeah. It makes me actually really happy, the idea that Richardson just kind of survived and Mine didn't. I love that for him. And for Mine. So I'm curious when I get to the point where I can um change jobs. Because as of now, we are still locked in. I feel like by this point in 7, we could have changed jobs. Maybe I'm misremembering. It was only a, like a month ago. I can't recall shit that far back. Baseball. Also, yeah, I was curious about this, so I looked it up. I guess Kiryu, at least when he's using the Dragon of Dojima job, straight up doesn't use weapons, and that's interesting. Because the Freelancer job doesn't use weapons, and the Freelancer job fucking sucks as a result of that. But I guess Kiryu is a bit stronger than Ichiban. This is the garage the bartender told us about, huh? Hey, what do you want? Huh? Where'd that voice come from? Yeah, I'm over here. Uh -huh. She's cute. Hello. Customers, what seems to be wrong with the vehicle? Oh, uh, actually, I'm here about my baseball bat. Well, there's your problem. That's not a car. <laughs> yeah, I realize that, uh, but... Wait, hold on. Revolve's bartender sent us. He said there's a one-of-a-kind mechanic here. Hmm. Ugh, why didn't you say that up front? I wasted a whole song and dance on you. You said one line of dialogue. If the bartender sent you, yes. We can offer a selection of non-vehicular maintenance services. Name's Julie. She's cute. A better bat. A butter bat. A batter bat. Nice to meet you. Uh, so, shall I take a look at this bat? Please. Wow. Guy your age still walks around with a skull cracker like this? That's old school. In a cringy kind of way. No, it's endearing. Thanks. You can help, then? I'm used to modding guns, swords. <laughs> a bat is child's play by comparison. I'd imagine. <sighs> oh, well. Let's get on with it. What were you thinking? Show me. What is it now? Okay. Well, we can be upgrading power forms. Most weapons serve. Any weapon that's special name. I'm strong with the captain. If you have tame one, go to Julie. Okay, so it looks a little different than the crafting and uh seven. Also, here's all the jobs I guess that I can use. 
This isn't every job here, but they're like showing other jobs. Interesting. Is are there other jobs that I'm forgetting? Oh, well, I guess there are like the character exclusive jobs. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Hero. Kabe. Yeah, here you don't use no weapons. All right, for the bat, I mean, hero's bat. This is like the final upgrade from the first game. You can just get it now? For free? Why is it weaker than the flaming lumber? I can also get, I can't get the wave paddle actually. I changed my mind. Oh, this is a freebie. That's why it's weaker. What if I tried? Huh, shut up. I'm thinking. <laughs> a little more. This is even better. Hopefully, it isn't as pricey as the one from Seven. Cool. Holy! It's barely the same bat anymore. That's what it looked like at the end of the last game. I halfway through fixing it up, so I made some improvements. Better leverage here. It'll be a much deadlier instrument now. So. Yeah, I'm satisfied. It's so much easier to handle. I feel stronger somehow just from holding it. Feel the stats going up. Miracle worker. No wonder the barkeep said you're the best he knows. Uh, that was nothing special. Certainly nothing he couldn't do. Hmm? What'd you say? Nothing. You heard nothing. Hey, Missy. I'm <laughs> helping someone else right now, but the exit door is free to assist you. Don't test me, honey. I'm not going anywhere till I get some service. As I've already told you, we only work. Enough bullshit. Everybody knows this is a weapon shop. Quit screwing with me. Even if this were the place you think it is, I reserve the right to refuse service to whomever I so choose. Leave. Now give me some goddamn service, girl. Hey, you need to calm down. Hell, who are you? Oh no, I'm just showing her the gun I want her to work on. I'm. Oh, this looks like I'm pointing it at her. My apology. Settle down, and I'm sure she'll be with you soon. Yeah. You fucking tourist. <laughs> you got no idea where you are, do you? All right. How about I shoot you? Then I won't be cutting the line. Nah, I think that still counts as cuts. That does sound reasonable. Let's try. <laughs> You're a dead man. What a psychopath. Right, Allow me. You're oh, right. Time to put you down. Oh, wow, he really runs with them. Looks like I'm up. Here I come. Just gonna waste your turn on reloading. Boy had one move and he just reloaded this gun that he didn't shoot. You're, you're so strong. This shop's off limits to you from now on. Got it? Got it. You okay? <sighs> Happens sometimes. Word gets around. The kind of men who look for trouble are good at finding it. Still, I can usually turn them away without much difficulty. Appreciate you taking the bullet for me, though, so to speak. Oh, yeah, sure. I guess with skills like yours, a lot of guys would be interested in. Mm hmm. But my rule is only people the bartender gives the okay to. Why? Uh, you and the bartender go back long? No, not very long, but. Well, a lot's happened. I'm renting the space from him, actually. He's technically in charge. Is that right? He owns more than Revolve Bar, then, huh? Anyway, if it isn't clear, well, I suppose if the bartender trusts you, I should too. <laughs> we good, old man? Yeah, of course. Sure, you were useful today. I'll help you out. Only thing is, next time I'll have to charge, and you'll need to supply your own material. If that's fine by you. Oh, one more thing. Over in the Anaconda Center. Got it. Thanks a lot. Oh, that's convenient. There are Sean? like multiple shops. Sorry. So I don't have to go all the way here. Does that sounds strange. No, no, I get it. It's a Japanese thing. I've just never heard that applied to me. I'm kind of flattered, honestly. Yeah, well, just let me know if it's weird. No, don't worry. It's fine. Cool. Julie Chan, it is then. <laughs> You're a funny guy. I'm surprised. Mm. Why, why, when did you get here? What is Richardson's deal? I really want to know, like, what's up with him. Welcome. And his the fact that he's alive. Come back again. 
kindness was not the stat I thought I needed to talk to her. What is it? Alright. You can spend medals and money to upgrade any weapon to a max of 50, ultimately reaching 7 stars. Upgrade values carry over and weapons to craft a new one. Oh! That's actually really cool. Additionally, by upgrading to certain levels, you'll unlock a brand slot, allowing you to customize it with special abilities. So if I build up a weapon, then I need it to set like the sacrifice it to make a stronger weapon. That new weapon keeps the upgrades. That's really useful. I think we should give Eric a new weapon. He's still got his default. Look at that. Just a wrench. No good. Change weapons you don't need for, for metals. I don't think you could do that in 7, which is unfortunate because I got a lot of excess weapons and I don't remember if there was any way to deal with them. Other than them just kind of sitting in your inventory. Oh, these aren't just every class. These are just the classes that I have available. Okay. Or not available, but that I've found weapons for. Developed for summer use and internal mechanism release cooler to slow sound temperature. I don't think that's how wrenches work, but whatever, champ. Meet your expectations? That should be my A frosty ranch. Wrench. I said ranch. Oh, and facility rank is improved just by using the facility, not by spending 20 million yen. Come back again. How fun. Welcome. What is it now? Alright, so for upgrades. Ooh. This reminds me more of the weapon crafting from Ishin, actually. Not entirely, but more so. What's the stats for the cooling wrench? Yeah, that's good. Meet your expectations. Tell me if it's too much for you. All right, we're stronger. Now we can hit things even harderer. Except for Kiryu, he just has his hands. But he makes them work. Cool. Yeah. Now that we can brutalize people more, let's go to a shopping center. What are you looking at? You. Hmm? Is there not a taxi here? May have to annihilate these boys. Oh, does that just mean it's a fast travel point? If I can go there. Oh, this is the pawn shop. Aloha. Thank you very much. Drinks later. I thought those were alligators, just more squirm worms. Whoop, squirming they wormin. Uh there we go. 
Diamond Head is maybe one of my favorite Ben 10 aliens. Like out of the OG, out of the OG 10, it might be my favorite. Mmm, hold up, hold up. I really like Ghost Freak. Yipe. So it seems like there are less crafting materials than usual. Or than seven. Yeah, they're just really fragments, it seems. I mean, there's. Okay, now there's other stuff. Yeah. I feel like this game does have a lot more, like, just loose items to pick up. Look at that. Free bouquet. Just a free bouquet, just lying on the ground. Driver pro tip it's easier to pick up customers in front of a pizza shop. No one wants to risk hoofing it while lugging around a whole cake. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. That's exactly why I know where all the babies are. No idea which are good though. Just when I thought you were finally going to offer some valuable information, we're really opening up. We're not doing any of these bingos for Kiryu. He's so closeted. Ooh. This looks nice. Oh yeah, I think I saw a tweet about this. Apparently this is a real shopping mall in Hawaii. Looks nice. Ooh. Yeah, I go up the down escalator. No one can stop me. Finch pin. David Finch. So we got we got in the back of Rondo. We got a treasure select. ATMs. A fiddler brand. Hula shop. On Lulu Dandies. A, B, C. Orston. Penalty box. Do -do -do -do. Hello. Whoa. Poppin. What's going on over here? I like the flamingos. So this place is called Anaconda Shopping Center. It's huge. <laughs> well, it's the biggest shopping mall in Honolulu. They pretty much, they've got pretty much all you need. You should load up on bullshit. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> After our talk, I realized Hawaii has been calling my name. I guess I'm going to show you. Meet me at the PC shop in the Anaconda Shopping Center. Booted up my PC. Where's Jamin? Oh, there he is. There's the anaconda. It's the best vacation ever. Best vacation ever. Body of that. That's not dancing. Breaker. Oh, Breaker Style's back. Okay. I wasn't sure which Thank classes you. came back in this game. I know some did. But I don't know which. The Breaker's back. That was always a good... I mean, not only was it just kind of a fun idea for a style, but it was just a good style. Strong. Ah, he's dressed full tourist mode. Yo, Kasuga. Aloha. Don't aloha me. Doing it. Didn't I tell you? Hawaii hosts a notorious. Oh, we're doing this now. It's a professional obligation that I attend. Make no mistake, that's the only reason I'm here. This is no vacation, my boy. This is entirely in the interest of uh, Suji Science. Oh, the tent. Yeah, you've so been here for weeks, bro. Like? In cases such as these, seeing. Oh, okay. In the PC store? Hello there, how can I help you? 
Who's that Sujiman? Understood. Please take the elevator. Okay. Is this gonna be like this game's equivalent of like the Coliseum? Using your starter? Do I get a starter Sujimon? It's like Pokemon, except they're humans. Well, sometimes. There are non. What? Okay, hold on. What is this? What the indeed? It's an underground Coliseum. This is literally Pokemon. Are you serious? I mean, I, I, I know it's Pokemon. That's the point of it. All. But. Sujimon trainers come to compete. The guests put money down on who'll win. Really, it's not all. Honolulu has strict gambling laws. It's ironic. Those restrictions only drive certain kinds to create such remarkable facilities as this. Hawaii has more to it than meets the eye, huh? Of course. The matches are broadcast worldwide on the dark web. The wealthy can watch and gamble at their leisure. Look, there's a match going on right now. What a fight! Ah, no! Come on, hang in there, buddy! <laughs> Is that really it? Oh shit, it's Jack. It. Kill him if you want. <laughs> no, buddy! This is so weird. Is that all you got? Give up yet? <laughs> I quit. It's over! Like the rest of the foursome, Jack's team of Sujimon remains untouchable! Yay! Oh, this really is the Suji League. Jeez. Battles are fought with teams of three Mon, led by their Sujimon trainer. So how do I capture Sujimon? Sujimon how do I kidnap people in this game? The young three Sujimon clash is considered the classic Sujimon battle. Hence, the Suji League uses these to determine their greatest trainer. Trainers, of course, are the brave adventurers who catch Sujimon, develop their skills, and create a cohesive team. Finally, the trainer commands them in battle and leads them to victory. That one we saw, Jack, is among the League's highest ranked trainers and a member of the The Discreet Four. Discreet Four. Can I get like a compilation of all those teams? Oh my god, hold on. Show me this man's king. king. Show me his face. King, huh? Look at him. Oh my god. He looks like oh, oh I had something. He looks like Ah, whatever. He looks like a bitch. Good luck. Thanks. Wait, huh? Good luck doing what? Now we present a rookie match. In the silver corner, a man so saddled with debt, he's resorted to Sujimon battles to stay afloat. Koichi Idano and his opponent in the gold corner, the former Yakuza Kum Taurus who never stays down. Um? Ichiban Kasuga! Uh, me? Kum Taurist? What's going on, Sensei? I'll admit, I've always been the type to beg forgiveness than ask permission. I'll explain later. You just need to win. I don't know how win. win? But this is a Sujimon battle, right? Sensei, I haven't got any Sujimon. Worry not, my boy. I've called in some old friends. Hello, Sensei. Oh, hello to you, <sighs> Sodachi, my boy. Name's Yasuo Sodachi, at your service. And from the Sodachi Dojo, me. Yeah, I think these guys are in 4 too. I remember Sodachi. I never did all the uh, Sodachi stuff in 4. It was too long and not worth it, and there was no achievement for it, so I didn't. Sodachi-san and his students. Sodachi. Okay, we've got the Sadachi jo Dojo here. My boys. So back in those days, I ran a gym, but it sort of went bust. Thankfully, the Sujimon Sensei came to my rescue. And now that he's offered to cut me another check, I'm here to help him out once more. For money. was a master of his dojo. What happened? You got super buff in six. It looks like you kind of let yourself go. A beginner could ask for no better ally. So, you're Ichiball's Kasuga. Nice to meet you. Ichiban Kasuga. Oh, shit. Must have been a bad connection. Anyway, have no fear. Even a Suji League novice is in good hands with me. <clears throat> I hate to interrupt, but Kasuga team, everyone's waiting. Your opponents don't look so tough. Just seriously? Jeez. All right. Let's see how this goes. 
Okay, each bomb puts the assassin's mind to mind to attack. It's funny because now that I think about it, this whole concept is kind of similar to the Sodachi Dojo in four. You're training up a guy to get stronger, but you're not actually fighting. You're just kind of watching them fight. I don't have my issue with the thing in four though is like you could train them up all you want, but sometimes their AI would just shit themselves and like that was it. You could do all that you could put in all the work to make them stronger and they wouldn't actually get stronger. And it kinda sorta sucked a little bit. Also, it was just way too grindy. Just the same thing over and over and over. Super repetitive. Hold up. Okay, sorry. Okay. Issue commands wisely. All right. Well, let's see what that let's means. We got. Okay, we got this for sure. Time for a suit, you mod battle. This is the big one. Which Sujimon trainer will fortune favor? That components when he's lost stamina. Sharon, you gotta watch out for the moment to go. Okay. You must accumulate power. Once the speed, once the gate reaches 10, you can give him a command. The rate at which your team is determined by active members' total speed. Okay, so higher speed, more points. Faster points. Faster the points, the more we can attack. Hit him with a Sodachi kick. Let's move Sodachi san. Naturally. Did you want to? Oh my god, they do have types. They have fucking types. Are you serious? What a year for Pokemon ripoffs, huh? We got Power World. We got this. Let's get more. What else is coming out this year? What else can we can we jam a Pokemon minigame into? Blaze, Frost, Nature, Light, and Shadow. Okay, Fire Beats Blaze. Fire is Blaze. Blaze beats Nature, Nature beats Frost, Frost. That doesn't work. Nature doesn't beat Frost, Frost beats Nature. Ice kills plants. I guess in the end, plants always come back to life, so I guess nature always finds a way. Okay, you know what? Checks out. So you're fire. What do these wholesome creeps and pervers do next? Get ready. Ha! Oh, baby! The crowd's ready for something big. The trainer's reconsidering the lineup for their life choices. Youch. Should you want to actually accumulate morale points and the team that these on grows? When type of the more you and your Superman care for each other, the faster the meter will charge. I love how they're just talking about them like animals, like in Pokemon, but they're human beings. Let's do this. When you Superman goes to special attack, you're going to give him a boost. You're just putting some out of roulette. Stopping on Remix to attack its all enemies and greatly increases increases recovery for healing skills. My super ultimate attack I have to charge up for has gambling to it. Ah, well, look at me go. Or maybe that was guaranteed for the first time event. Okay, it's pretty simple. We did it! You guys are the best! Let's wrap up this victory! I'm more interested in the part where like how do how do I get more Sujimon? Can I use any Sujimon I find? Does that include bosses? Because that would sound strong as hell. Oh, we did it! Sweet, sweet victory. <sighs> How the hell did we do that? <laughs> well done, my boy. Huh? Couldn't be. Wait. That guy. 
That's Professor Morikasa, is not. Oh shit, it's really him. The former champion. Oh. I thought the Suji League expelled him, didn't they? But he's back now? Or isn't he? How intriguing. The Sujimon League's prodigal champion, Morikasa, has returned. Fuck it all. Time to go, Kasuga. Uh. Those are the king. Or no, those are assistants. Morikasa, son. He looks so familiar. I'm trying to put my finger on it. Looks like somebody. Looks like some asshole. <gasps> that got out of hand, Kasuka. No shit. What the hell was all that? I need some deep. Right. I owe you that. Oh, it was a different time. The gambling wasn't so rampant. Back then, the League was a true test of skill. That was the Suji League that I loved. I was proud to be its champion. But since the Suji League Committee was established, gambling's devoured the soul of the competition. The Suji League Committee? Uh, did you see those folks in the weird pervert masks? That's them. They run the bets and skim off the top of every battle. Gradually, they started fixing matches to accommodate their wealthiest clients. As soon as I heard, I rallied against them, but they were too powerful. I can't believe all this. Truthfully, my plan from the start has been to restore the League. Make it the I can't believe they made this throwaway character in Seven have this whole arc. It once my Suji League. So then, what's the plan? There's only one option. Be the very best. Become Suji League Master. I like Sadachi's dub voice. It suits him very well. The champion's influence can be immense. If one with you said they exiled you before. That's right. Why does it have to be me? What about Sadachi san? Sodachi san's not a bad trainer, but he's never been popular with the fans. I mean, doesn't he just have that dull witted creator wrestler look about? Him? He does. Is that really how people see me? Yes. Kasuga, though. From the moment I met you in four, that's all I saw you as. Putting together a team is what you excel at. I don't know. The committee possesses terrifying wealth. They've ruined and I am the Sujiman Sensei. As I told you before, I seek world peace. I want to break the cycle of mistreatment and exploitation of my kind. Mm, all right. When you put it like that, I can't just walk away. Kasuga, uh, frankly, I don't understand all the Kasuga. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> but I always cry when someone else cries. Oh, oh my no. god. <laughs> okay. Both of you. So how do I get more Sujis? I get how the Suji mm, you'll want three starters and three for the bench. The Dodgy Son and his pupils are three, so I got to double my stock base. How am I supposed to do that? That's easy. Just smack them around until they give in. Kick them, punch them. Violence takes care of everything. What a psychopathic really thing to say, Sadaji. Explanation is somewhat crude. This will be easier to learn by doing. Ah, oh, a race, a gathering spot for strong Sujimon, where they battle one another to establish a native pecking order. Kasuga, go over there and flex. Why? Look, raid dwellers receive. If you don't want to flex, find some other way to display your vim and vigor. Just start by. I'm in gift. What are these? Suji gifts. I model them after traditional year-end presents. Anyway, okay, I'll give it. Okay. I don't totally get this, but uh, you look cool. Raids are attempts to strengthen among the powerful creatures. Are you able to come on top? You have a chance to recruit those of them. Excluding some special varieties. What do you mean by that? Note there were real street fights, not sanctioned to Jumon battles. Okay. All right. Ow. What? 
In Hawaii, some Sujimama find themselves impressed by Kasuga's strength and hang around after a fight. Can use the opportunity to recruit them with your team to get them to make a gift. Or to make a gift. Oh! I think those are DLC items. There you go. Here's a little something from me. Whoa, hang on. This is weird. <laughs> what was that deep voice? Yeah. Oh, we got Collins. Or Jabber Jobber. No, yeah, don't give them names. Then you get attached to them. Quit after battles. I've already built up a. Their time in the wild. It's so crazy how they're still talking about them like animals. Oh, well done, Kasuga. That's the way. Now, just remember that not all Sujiman will join you. Consult this list here. The Sujiman dossier is automatically updated list of recruitable Sujiman Academy managers. How convenient. I get it. But don't I a simple way to improve your Sujiman is to shove some Suji munch down their gullets. However, it's better to raise them up in battle. Eat your rare candy, Sodachi. You spot right. As you defeat other trainers at a high enough rank, you can even challenge the fearsome discreet four. The current champion, King, sits at the very top of that peak. Who voices Sujimon Sensei? It sounds super similar and it's driving me nuts though. Sujimon Sensei voice actor. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna know. Keith Silverstein, yes, yes. There we go. You'll have to dispatch the rest first. It's gonna take long. He voices tons of people I know. He's a Torbjorn. An Overwatch. Let's go grind, knock out the four, and then we'll all take a trip to Suji Land. <laughs> there, there's not real. One more thing. Let me install the Suji League. All right. Thank you. Oh, are those? It's. It's. it's... Okay. Uh, interesting. What? Sorry. Why don't they just be like, hey Ichiban, we watched that whole thing. What the fuck were you doing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, they give me a little thing. That's useful. Once you're entered District 5, be able to return to the city or save your game for some time. Make sure you're prepared. Recommend level 13. Recommend equipment 2 star plus. Let me ask. What is my equipment at, actually? The 1 star. Oh no. So I'm a little confused on the star system again. That just wasn't really a thing. Yeah, whatever. Okay, we're gonna call it a stream here. I know it was really short tonight. I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, but we at least we can battle with humans as if they were Pokemon. So that's fun for us, not so much for the Sujimon. Um, yeah, cool. <laughs>